You might remember Robert Browning's uh, memorabilia. Oh, did you once see Shelley playing and did he stop and talk to you? And I was looking after this delightful little old lady in her house and she had all pictures of Thomas Stearns Elliot and recordings and and uh, she said, do you like Mr. Elliot? She always called him Mr. Elliot. And I said, oh yeah, I love Mr. Elliot. And she said, I met him once. And I thought, wow, did you? What was he like? Da la la la. Uh, so this is called, you are the music, well the music lasts. And did you once see Elliot playing? And did he stop and speak to you? Well, no, not actually. Well, <laughs> kind of, sort of. Crossing the street in a sudden shower amidst the trill of bicycle bells, the honk honk of motor cars. Oi, watch where you're going, lad! And there stood Elliot, frozen in time, balanced on his toes, crossing and not crossing, a bit like a undecided, procrastinated proof rock. He looked exactly like himself, like a photo come alive, an anonymous bowler hatted man, an unused umbrella perched on the crook of his arm. He appeared both calm and alarmed, as if a poem had crossed his mind, interrupting his crossing amongst the plop of large raindrops. I wanted to quote his words to him, to say somehow I know his mind, and for all that second he was mine, as if I owned the very essence of him. I took him by the arm, reminded him he had an umbrella, and it was as if I was talking to a somewhat forgetful god. Hmm, yes, mm -mm. thank you, my dear. How strange it seems and new, as Mr. Browning once remarked. Thank you.